Hi, this is Meghnath. In this module, we will learn about continue. So continue is also used to skip some statements in a loop. And we'll see an example. Let's get started. Now, as usual, file, new, empty file. And I'll write a simple program to print hello five times. We already know it. So include stdio.h include conivo.h void main and let's save this so you can see the highlighted keywords getting highlighted so what I'll do now is I'll just write 15 dot um, continue example 1 I'll write here I'll declare a variable for for loop in i for i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 5, i plus plus. And I'll write here printf. And let me put some brackets. So I'll write here printf hello. Now we already know that, uh, so this will print hello five times. So let's give slash n. So you can see here first i value is 1, prints hello, i value becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times hello. When i value becomes 6, the condition fails. So it'll print five times hello. So let's see the output. Save it. And and let's build the code. Let's run the code. You can see it's printing hello five times. If you are using any other editor, you might need to use get ch so that you can uh, see the output will stay there. So now anyway, that's fine. Now what we'll do is, so we will learn about continue statement. So I will write here if if I write break statement, let's take if i is equal to, um, if i is equal to 3, if I write here break. Now what happens when I use break statement is, first i value is 1, condition not satisfied prints hello. i value 2, condition not satisfied prints hello. The moment i value becomes 3, i value got 3 and break. So that's it. So when break is used in a for loop, the loop will stop iteration when the con when when the condition is uh, when break is encountered. Now in this case, when i value is three, we will uh, see that the break got executed, and this will only print two times hello. So let's uh, save it, and you can see that I'll build the code, I'll run the code. You can see two times hello. Now, now what we'll do is uh, instead of break, if I use continue. So what happens when a code flow encounters continue, the loop will not break, but rather it will skip the remaining statements, it will go to the beginning of the for loop. Now first i value is 1, condition not satisfied, it will print hello. i value is 2, condition not satisfied, it will print hello. i value comes 3, continue. So continue means it will go to this. So it will skip the remaining statements in the for loop for that instance. Now i value becomes 4, condition not satisfied, it will print hello. i value becomes 5, condition not satisfied, this will print hello. So now it will print 4 times hello. So what happened when i value has become 3, continuous encountered, when continuous encountered, it will skip the remaining statements in the for loop. So continue will take the code flow to the beginning, I mean to the, to the for loop, beginning of the for loop. Right? So that's the use of continue. Now the output will be four times hello. Let's run the code. And you're seeing the previous output. Let's build it and run the code. So you can see it's printing four times hello. So now, just to make sure that things are very clear, I'll just print here i value, percentile d, comma i. Now, now if I put here break, now, i value 1 will be printed, i value 2 will be printed, when i value becomes 3, break. So now the output is 1, 2. So let's build the code and run the code. You can see it's 1, 2. Now if i put here continue, now when i value becomes 3, it will go to this loop here again. So only when i value is 3, this will not execute printf. Remaining times it will execute printf. So the answer is 1, 2, 4, 5. Let's save it and build it and run the code, you will see 1, 2, 4, 5. So that's, now, you might be thinking, where do we use continue? 
So where do we might need to use continue? So let's take a classic example, or even without continue, you can solve the issue, but I'm just giving an example for continue. As usual, let's write this author and purpose. Now, as usual, author, I'm writing my name and purpose. Now, to print all numbers divisible by 17 from 1000 to 1500. From 1000 to 1500. And, and, now let's, let's say this. Now see here, we're just writing code. I want to print the numbers diesel by 17 from 1000 to 1500. So it's very easy. So all you have to do is, you need to write a for loop. I mean, we don't need to use continue in this case, but let's see here now. Now, I'll write like this. For i is equal to 1000, i less than or equal to 1500, i plus plus, and I'll write here, if i modulo 17 is equal to zero. I'll just use here printf percentile d comma i. So in this case, the loop will execute from 1000 to 1500. Every For every number, we'll check if it's modulo 17, zero, and we'll print it. So only the numbers which are divisible by 17, we are printing. So let's save it and build it and run the code. Now you can see here, so let's give slash n, so otherwise uh, we will not understand it. Let's give slash n. Or you can also give slash t, it's for tab space. So let's save it and run the code. Now I'm still seeing the previous output. Let's build the code and run the code. Now you can see here, so these are the numbers that are divisible by 117 from 1000 to 1500. Things are fine. Now, in this output, I don't, my client said, print all the numbers divisible by 17, but don't print the numbers divisible by 5 in that. So, he wants to see the output numbers divisible by 17, but he don't want to print the numbers divisible by 17. So, what you can do in this case is, you can also write here, you can write here, if, or you can also write, about this, sorry, let's go to the previous code. Yeah, now the requirement changed here is, and print all the numbers, and do not print, do not include numbers divisible by five in result. Now in this case, I don't want to include numbers divisible by five in the result. So what I can do now is, I can simply write, if i modulo 5 is equal to 0, this is just an example for continue. Maybe we can still optimize the code, but we are not trying to optimize the code now. We're just trying to learn where you might need to use continue. Now I'll just write now, if i modulo 5 is 0, so, so what I'll do now is, I'll just write here continue. In this case, what happens is, if any number is divisible by 5 is encountered, it will not even check for this condition. It will go beginning of the for loop. So, so if this condition is satisfied, it will not even check for this condition. It's, it will it'll not go for here. So, it will again go to the for loop. So, that's where you can use continue. So, continue is used to skip the remaining statements in the for loop. Now, let's save it. And let's build it. And run the code. Now, you can see here, uh, the output is not containing the numbers divisible by 5, but it's containing the numbers divisible by 117. I mean, divisible by 17, right? So I hope you're very clear with uh, example for continue. And what you understand is continue is used to skip the remaining statements in the for loop and take you to the beginning of the for loop, right? So that's all for now. And as usual, I will upload this in the GitHub. So let's go to here and click on um, so you can actually download this file. So click on upload files and 
select the file that I want to upload. So I want to upload the file that I just created now, the example that I've given now. So that's for uh, continue. Yeah, this is actually 16, lesson 16. So I gave us 15. So that's like module 16 actually. So let me, let me remove this and go to the folder. Let's go to the folder and I'll change the name. I'll change the file name. So let's close it. Now I'll change it. So where is lesson continue example? Here is a continue example. Let's rename it because this is 16th lecture, right? So I'm just renaming it to 16 and I don't need this. Delete. So now let's upload this now. So select the file that I want to upload and it's 16 continue example and comic changes. So if you want to get a file, um, if you want to get the file, so you can actually browse to this link github slash um, https github.com slash mignard slash c so if you go to this url you can actually download all the examples that i've explained in this tutorial series so i hope you learned about continue and how to use it and thank you and see you in the next lecture